Hi everyone, it's Denise Reed and welcome back to my channel, Bramble Reed. Now this week it's all about the newspaper decoration for your coffee table, which is a shredded paper craft. If you need to know what to do with your shredded paper, here are some paper mache projects along with our paper bowl designs. If you're looking to see different styles and projects that you can do, this project is a great earth tone decor or you can turn it into a more DIY rustic home decor. DIY chain link decor can be made out of wood chains or our two ingredient paper mache clay. I have linked our paper mache clay recipe here and also in the description box. For the best creative DIY and fashion content, subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload a post every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts and fashion that you're able to join. Now it's your turn. Okay guys, so I did this part yesterday. I'm gonna make more of these shapes out of the paper mache and see if that works. So this is what I've done. I flattened it on one side. See how flat it is? And it's curved on the other side. So I'm just gonna turn it over. Now that this side is hard, and then apply some paste to that. And I'm going to use my gloves and I'm going to put a little bit of water at the top on all of them, all three of them. So I wanted to have a multiple earth tone decor. So one of the things that I think is great guys is whenever you're creating something, always do a multiple. So you do one, which is your tester. And then as you keep creating or making the project, you get better at it. What I'm going to essentially do is take this part and hook it in and then hook the dry piece in but we'll see because I haven't made the other one outside so we just want to see how this is going to go and then we're going to try the other one that's outside and see if we can merge the two together. So this one didn't really work and that is because I forgot to leave enough space inside for these to connect. So I'd have to have a small and a big one so I decided I'm going to leave these ones like this I'm gonna try and figure out a paint situation here. So I almost put it together without showing you. And these ones now, make sure that they're dry. They're not fully dried and so they're gonna crack. But these ones, I made this portion here wider and then I left one that is cracked, that is opened like this. This one's a little bit too narrow. So if you're gonna do it, make sure that it's really small. So you need at least that much more and uh oh, I widened the circle here. These are not actually baked yet. So make sure they're fully dry before you do this. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna make sure which piece is your right side. And this is my right. And you're gonna hook them together. See this one here broke off. And that's because it's not fully dried and all sticky. Okay, but that's okay. So you're gonna do that. And when you're doing it, make sure that you do it so it's the opposite like it goes like that. Then you're gonna add the other piece on, hook it, put it like that, and then you add the other piece and hook it. And this piece goes like that. And then you're just gonna add those two spacer pieces in here. I have to fix this. So what I did to fix this was I put two toothpicks, one on either end, and then I made paper mache paste. I included more paper mache and I merged the two pieces together tightly. And then I also added some paper mache around it and set it down so that it wouldn't move. And I let it dry and then I added another layer of the paper mache so that it, the first layer took a quick time to dry. And now all I have to do is make a piece from here to here and to make that little piece and and then dry it and I'm gonna show you how it looks and this is cute I wish I would have used a lot of flour in my paper mache so if you're gonna do the chain and you're gonna use a paper mache overdo your batter so it's really thick and goopy so that it really has a good stick because this is the second time that these pieces are coming out and maybe it's because it's not fully dry so guys I wanted to show you how you connect the piece and you see how I connected it? I joined it on something and then I put the piece over. And that's one chain. And then once that chain is done, then I will 
attach the other chain. So these are done. I I dehydrated them, put them in the sun, um, put the fan on them. It's been about a week and I wanted to change my color. So you see this color? I wanted the color to be more vibrant and all I did was added olive oil and I put it on top and the olive oil soaked into it and then I baked it again. But right now I'm going to use my hands and here's our olive oil and I'm just going to put it on the color which part I want it to brighten and then I'm going to bake it. Now this specific one, you remember I did this and I added, I made it too, way too thick. Um, I'm going to sand it down and then I'm going to put some of the brown in the inside portion of it. This portion here I might leave, um, but I might add some brown to it, but I'm gonna check it out and see. And here you go, you see how much smaller I got it? And now it's white, but I wanna just add a little bit of brown color in here because the rest of them has a spot of brown and I covered the brown with the gray and maybe I should have sanded this down a little bit further but to be quite honest with you this is the thickness that I wanted I think I wanted them to be not so skinny but that's fine so we'll just put um, brown inside here so what I found out is that you don't necessarily have to wet the inside because this is wet, it sticks on on its own. Because look, as soon as you put it on, you see the color changes, it's wet. So what I'm gonna do is just gradually put the brown. Where you're gonna need the water is actually to do the smooth out. Gradually goes down and there you go. When you dehydrate it, it leaves the color. It doesn't um, take away the color the way you dry it with the dryer or dry it out in the sun. So I'm gonna dehydrate these and you'll see that the color stays. Comment down below and let me know what do you think of this paper mache clay. Now I think you can see the brown color better. It's coming out more. And here's the one that we did yesterday. Now I think I could have sanded this part down a little bit more and made it a little bit thinner, but I opted not to and I can still maybe do the inside of it, the outside of it, but here you go. I just sprinkled some olive oil on my hand and I'm just going to rub the spot that I want to change color, okay? With the olive oil, you see? Now, I don't know yet if when you spray it, if you spray it with um, clear coat varnish, if it's gonna change the color of everything, but I'm not gonna do that until later on. I don't necessarily wanna do that with this, but I do wanna get the variation of different colors. And what I do with this is I put it in the, de the dehumidifier and I feel that it's baking it on, but I don't know. I'm not sure, but I just feel better with doing it. I did use two browns, so remember this is from a bulk barn paper bag, and then the other colors were from the grays and stuff from the newspaper print that I kept swapping out colors with. If you're gonna recreate this project, you can make it out of the paper mache. You can make it out of the paper mache clay, but I don't think the clay is gonna give you the texture that the paper mache is gonna give you, or even wood and have it a wooden chain link. So you do have a variety of opportunities. And this is a real good high-end dupe because Restoration Hardware did create a chain like this, different shapes. I actually really wanted a wooden looking, but I like the way this one turned out. Now that you know how to make the newspaper decoration for your coffee table, I have created a nine page guideline that will help you get your creative ideas out of your head and onto a digital platform. I've included a list of tutorials that will help you understand these platform better. You can download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, if you want to join a group of creative minds like yourself, I do have that Facebook page where we'll be sharing DIY projects, fashion, interior design, and so you can check out the link in the description box. Get these videos next on paper clay recipe and then also 
my paper mache bowl designs. Coming up next, I will be doing the spheres. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and friends.